This is a Brookhaven supercar. It goes super fast, but not many people know how to truly drift this thing. So that is why in today's video, I will be showing you exactly how we can drift any Brookhaven car, the new update, and even how we can get Brookhaven VIP for completely free. Finally, Brookhaven has had a new update. And after a whole 12 months of waiting, we finally got a new game pass giving us a ton of features. And good gosh, this thing is so dang expensive. For the price of this game pass, we can literally get premium, the disaster pass, and even the speed vehicle pass pass. Despite how expensive this game pass is, it's totally worth it. The first feature you'll notice when you purchase this game pass is all the effects we can equip on our avatar. We look like a freaking hacker. These effects are really good if you want to show off how rich you are to everyone in the server. Who wouldn't notice this? I've also found that it makes your avatars look way better if you equip the right effects, so you guys should play around with that. By far one of the coolest features we got in this update was the new event vehicles we can finally keep. If you guys didn't know, all of these vehicles have been a part of previous Brookhaven events, including the Halloween event and even the Easter event. If you guys remember my Easter video, these cars literally took forever to get. But I guess all that effort is for nothing now because we can just purchase them for a low price of 999 Robux. I only just noticed how big this freaking car is. It literally covers two road lanes. That's crazy! Oops, I forgot to mention. We can also spawn two cars in public servers now. I guess that's just an easier way to flex on your haters. Anyway, if we type our name into the name icon, Click down here and we can have a rainbow text showing off how rich we are. Hey, this guy has it too. What's up, my fellow millionaire? He's not talking. I guess I'm too poor to associate with him. Whatever, bro. My favorite part about this game pass is the fact that we no longer have to wait 10 minutes to spawn a new house. Do you guys remember how annoying that was having to wait literally ages to switch houses? That actually sucked. I don't know why they only made it so people with the game pass now have to wait, but I guess the creator really wants people to buy this pass. Look how rich I look when I park two super cars outside my mansion. I actually love this update so much bro. It's made Brookhaven so much more fun. One pretty cool feature that was added was the fact that our prop limit has increased a ton. Before we could only place like 5 items, but now I'm pretty sure it's like 20 or 30. This actually makes it so much easier to completely ruin people's houses. This person's gonna come back to their whole house being completely melted. Here they are. Wait she's crying. I'm sorry bro. I didn't mean it. There I got rid of the fire. Everyone knows I'm secretly a fireman so that was really no problem for me. Another super cool thing about this game pass was these super cool props added with brand new features. Right here we got a race car that's lacking a bit in looks. If I use the new vehicle modifier props you can see how much better we can make this car look. This is the coolest car on the road. Another super cool thing we can do actually involves this garage house right here. In here we can convert it to a vehicle repair shop and have players come in so you can modify their cars. Right here I have a boring old truck and through my amazing mechanic skills I've gotten this bad boy looking all fired up. It would be cool having some sort of Brookhaven car meet with these modified cars that would really make a good role play for all the car lovers. One of the best props recently added was this whoopee cushion. You might think this is some innocent prop we can walk on, but as soon as we step on this we hear a fart. I'm actually gonna place a bunch of these cushions next to this guy's door, so he has to hear a disgusting fart every time he walks in his house. This would get so annoying. I'm ringing his doorbell and no one's answering. Where is this guy at? I can't find anyone, but why is there food just left here on the floor? Whoa! Didn't mean to walk up on you, bro. Why is his name Daddy Matt? What the heck you doing, you weirdo? Let's see if I can get him to follow me onto the cushions. He stepped on them. Take that bozo. I'm gonna steal your car too just because you're weird. For a lot of you this game pass is just way too expensive. And I don't blame you because 1000 Robux for a Brookhaven game pass really breaks the bank. So here's a few methods I found to get some of the features for free. A little bit ago I showed you some items that give us special effects in game when we wear them. Well these effects are super similar to the VIP effects. I'll leave a bunch of IDs I found on screen right here for you guys to copy on. Make sure to pause the screen if you want to remember these. The best effect I found was from this ID right here. And this ID gives us some fireworks shooting out of our head. That's way cooler than any VIP effect we can currently get. Another super cool effect was from this ID. And it's basically the exact same as this sparkle effect. Just bigger and cooler. We get a super nice hat to go with it too. And best of all, it's completely free. I actually have a few videos going over a bunch of IDs you guys can enter in order to get these effects. Make sure to watch them out after this video. I'm sure all of 
of you are wondering how we get these VIP cars for free. And there's only one method I can think of, but it might take you a lot of running. You'll see what I mean in a minute. I tried to recreate the Halloween car, but it really doesn't look too good. I can't even use the hood scoops because they're all part of the VIP pass. In order to get these cars for free, you'll need to look for someone who owns it. And I think you know where I'm going with this. Basically, all we need to do is steal the car and hide it so we can pretend it's ours. There's two people with the VIP cars right here. Let's quickly steal that thing before he returns. No, it's locked. And the other guy drove away. Let me hunt that guy down. Okay, I found him. He's inside this military base hiding out. Go, go, go. Give me your car, loser. No, it's locked. <clears throat> I got banned. All right, well, you guys get the point. Just make sure to be more sneaky than I was because the owners will ban you. I found this video right here that shows us exactly how we can drift cars on Brookhaven. So there's a few ways we can do this. I'll start with the easiest and we can work our way up. The easiest way to drift is by having our speed on 70, our tires on 0.7 and our turbo on 2. This makes us pretty slow, but as you can see, we're drifting with ease. It's even cooler when we make our car smoke. Now it looks like our tires are smoking from all the drifting we're doing. This is pretty cool, but if you're like me, you prefer to go faster and show off way more. If you make your speed 120, your turbo 2 and your tires 1, it's still super easy to drift around, but now we go way faster. All the girls are gonna want you after seeing this amazing drifting. Now there's actually an even better way than all of this, and it involves you equipping a giant avatar from the items tab. When we make ourselves super big, for some reason the Brookhaven cars can't handle it, so it makes it less likely for us to spin out while also being able to drift. Now now look how easy I'm drifting around. I feel like an actual drift guy. You guys really need to try this out. By doing this method, it makes it so fun. Anyway, that's all the new glitches and updates in Brookhaven. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to subscribe and watch another video on screen. Bye, guys!